inspiring others to support the dreams of children. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett shows us how a woman in Buena Vista helped turn this ballerina's dream into a reality. I knew that she looked like a ballerina. But Margaret Bailey could never have known that her granddaughter's friend would become a company dancer with the Roanoke Ballet Theater. All this time, she's been working at it. Michaela Pence started taking lessons when she was eight years old. Despite family support, money was tight. It was my granddaughter that told me, well, she's saving aluminum cans to pay for her lessons. And so I said, well, I've got plenty of aluminum cans. <laughs> Bailey, along with several others, provided cans to pay for lessons. Then Michaela earned a scholarship, but she still needed shoes. The ballet shoes are expensive and they don't last very long when they're used every day. Then came travel expenses for an internship in the Star City. It's 50 miles from Buena Vista to Roanoke. Now Bailey has helped to get Michaela cans to cash in. We were cleaning up one day and I saw her collecting cans. And so I asked her why she was collecting those cans. Christina Casado and other employees with the Community Foundation of the Central Blue Ridge in Stanton pitched in too. The mission of the Community Foundation is really to enhance the quality of life of our community. A mission they are trying to live. It's really these small initiatives at the very ground local level that have an impact on people's lives every day. You know, so many people just throw things in the trash. And if you can use them for a project of some kind, like getting Michaela Pence with her, her lessons, it's worth it. Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. Wow, what a special woman. So Bailey says uh, she plans to keep on giving the Pence family cans as long as they'll take them.